1267, the year when war came to Calradia. It began with an alliance of Nords and Rodoks. Breaking the truce, they invaded the kingdom of Swadia. Blood began to flow like a river. The villages broke out one after another. Seeing the agony of his realm, Harlaus, the king of Swadia, preferred to drown his own fear and despair in wine. But at that moment, when all hope had faded, a miracle happened. While the king was feasting, there was one who resisted. A nameless Swadian lord, who had won 84 tournaments and never took off his winged helmet, marched against the whole army of Rodox. In the battle near the castle of Maris, he and his small warband achieved a heroic victory over the superior enemy. King Gravith himself, with the rest of his men, was forced to drop back. On the wave of this success, he continued his offensive push. One by one, the castles of Rodox fell, and at last, he besieged the large city of Yalen. The garrison was few and weak. The city surrendered within a few days. Thus, the kingdom of Swadia was saved. The perfect moment to start a full-scale offensive and bring to heel the old enemies. But the king, Harlaus, decided otherwise. Greedily, he laid claim to these new lands and sent a humiliating 900 dinars to the savior of his realm. It was impossible to bear such an insult. The vassal's oath was broken, and the kingdom of Swadia, just like half a century ago, plunged into the chaos of rebellion. Doesn't seem like the right time to get drunk in a village mess hole, don't you think? Your Majesty. Don't you know the Swadians are besieging the castle of Maris? If you remember, it's a last barrier on their way to our capital. The garrison is full of Rodox, and they all will desert as soon as Gravith appears on the horizon. But there is one thing I know for sure. Harlaus will not get them alive. for each of you. Sir, why are we fighting for the Swadian rebel trot? Maybe you want to fight for them. Oh, no, no, sir. Then shut up. He freed us from captivity, and at least he hates Harlaus as much as we do.
the castle's fall is a matter of time. I want you to gather every man who is able to carry a weapon in this realm. Convey them to the capital. We will hold the city to the last drop of our blood. Is my command clear? You can rely on me, my king. Uh, I will gather a decent warbin, I swear. I hope so. In the meantime, I will meet up with the king of Aegir's. Maybe we'll get lucky and gain an ally. Hurry up. You have two days. After a long and brutal assault, the castle of Maris was finally taken. More than 500 sons of Swadia lost their lives beneath its high walls. But despite heavy losses, the 4,000 men under Harlaus is still a force to be reckoned with. After such an act, the defenders who survived suffered a fate even worse than simple death. The rage of loss still pumped strongly through the victor's blood. Thus, no ounce was devoted to mercy. However, the numerous casualties have taken their toll on the Swadians' morale. The most damaging one is Count Delinar, a man of extraordinary courage and loyalty. That day, he was mortally wounded by a Rodok sharpshooter. His heroism will be greatly missed by the Swadian army. But Harlaus and his men have no time to mourn fallen heroes. The army still must brave the snow-capped mountains to reach the heart of the rebellion, the fortified city of Yalen. There are also rumors that King Gravith is already mustering a new army of Rodox. After a heavy defeat, his warriors are once again eager to shed the blood of the Swadians and reclaim their lost lands. Meanwhile, negotiations between Vagars and Swadian rebels were completely unsuccessful. The seemingly negligible skirmishes with the Kurgits have begun to escalate rapidly. Sanjar Khan has gathered a massive army and began a full-scale invasion. King Yaroglek and his vassals haven't expected this and were totally unprepared. Everyone was sure that Khan wouldn't dare to attack until summer. But now, only a small border warband separates Kurgits from unprotected Vagar's realm.
Vegas were defeated on that bloody day. But the Kyrgyz army suffered crippling casualties as well. Sanjar Khan returned to his land to regroup and bolster his ranks once more. But one thing is known. Vegas will not help the rebels in their war. Thus, the city of Yalin is preparing for a long and merciless siege. For almost 200 years since the fall of Calrandian Empire, the blood flows over the once great lands. Virtuous men turn to sin. Noble lords turn to villainy. Friends become enemies. Idyllic hamlets now empty, homely villages now burning, great castles lay in ruins. But in this furnace of chaos, uncertainty, and hardship, perhaps a new leader may be forged, one who will rid the lands of all suffering and once again unite the lands of Calradia under one banner. But until that day, the war shall continue.